Hello friends, this is Reza Rat from Radicat. If you are using Table Visual in Power BI recently, Microsoft has been doing some updates on it and one of the features is auto fit, which would fit the columns to use the entire width of the table. Now this might be disturbing, you might want to disable it or you might also want to enable it. I'm going to show you in this video how this is going to work. If you have used table visuals in the past in Power BI, you know that usually it fits to the content, meaning that whatever is the length that is required for that column, it will take that much. Uh, recently, however, is not the case. Like recently, if you have a Power BI um, desktop with the table visual in it, it would look different. I'm switching to my screen and I'll show you what this looks like and how you can fix it. So here is my Power BI desktop and this is a table visual. As you can see, the numbers are like slightly cut in this last column over here. I'll enable zooming. You can see it better. Um, so as you can see, these are cut a little bit on this side and no matter if I make it bigger, I still have the same thing. If I make it smaller, uh, sometimes it doesn't fit, but uh, anytime it fits, actually it's always like cut a little bit. And this is the new feature, uh, which is a still preview, of course, working on it, but uh, it expands the columns to fit in the width of the table. So as you can see, if I expand the size, it uses that entire size um, as the uh, to fit all the columns. Even if I go and make, for example, these columns smaller, it uh, still doesn't help with that. You see that column is uh, still going and expanding and takes the entire space. If I make this uh, smaller, you see that's still like that. Now, uh, this feature by itself is a good thing because it enables us to like have the right fitting in our table visual, but it's disturbing for this kind of scenario. How you can disable it? Really simple. You'll select the visual, you'll go to the format tab. In the format tab, you'll go and find column headers under the visual section, column headers. And then in the, in the column headers, you'll go to the options. And here you see this O2 width, O2 size width. If I disable it, then it goes to fitting to the content. Or you might not disable it, you might keep it enabled, but change this to fit to content, which in that case also the same. So either disable it or set it to fit the content. Now this is fitting to the content, and if you make it smaller or bigger, it would not impact that. You can also make size of some of the columns bigger or smaller. This would not be a problem with that. On the other hand side, if you have a mm, table visual like this and you want this to fit to the entire size of the table visual, you come here and you change the resize behavior uh, instead of fit to content to grow to fit. At the moment, grow to fit is the default option, but you can change it. So when you set it to grow to fit, it would fit there. What I found is that normally if you have a text column at the end, grow to fit works nicely. Like if I go to here and I bring English education at the end, grow to fit fits nicer in this view because it doesn't cut like the last part. Usually like mm, numbers are indented to the right. That's why it looks cut, like cut, but here with the text, it looks better. Uh, but either way, if you want to disable it or enable it, it's under visual column headers, under options, O2 size, width. This is the configuration. I hope this short video helped you to um, use your Power BI solutions better. We create and publish videos about Power BI and Microsoft Fabric weekly. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. Until the next video, bye.